So we've just talked a lot of detail. And I thought it was already complex, but you're saying it can get even more complex. When, when it, absolutely it does. <laughs> when, when you talk about particular contexts in which the law might be applied, then, then there's all sorts of complexity. And, and I think this is important because this isn't like an abstract, you know, and as we explore in lots of parts of this course, you know, satellites don't just do one thing, right? They do so many different things, so many countries, companies, purposes, goals, whatever the case is, it already is complex from a technical use standpoint. So I think it's really important to explore this, this aspect of the law here. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna talk about two areas essentially, but, but they come from uh, broad challenges in global space governance. Okay. And those broad challenges are that space is increasingly competitive, yes. congested and contested. And, and uh, under competitive relates to space resource utilization. Yes. Um, so, so competition for the resources that might be out there yep. under congested space traffic management as well. Yeah. Now, I won't have time to talk about commercialization, the fact that that space is increasingly commercialized and democratized and not talk about the, the fact that space has become contested and military uses is of outer space. But, okay, but it's a whole other. Yeah, because it's a whole other section, really, if you think about right of yes. how this is, it, it's, kind of, it's all those definitions, what is peaceful, right? You know, it's all these areas and, and what is intentional, not right. You, you can see why, and normally you'd be like, oh, of course, military use, it's, ba it's banned, right. problem solved, but it's not, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It, it's a lot more complex than that. And, uh, you know, if a state wants to defend itself, it has a right to defend itself. And there's a question of how it does that. And this hopefully isn't an issue we start seeing more of, but do you think it, might be, unfortunately? Uh, I think almost certainly. And, and there are aspects of um, coercive uses of outer space that have been happening for some time already. So there have been, well, we, we, we talked in a previous yeah. session or, or previous section about um, testing of anti-satellite yes. missiles, yeah, yeah. which is indicative of states thinking about using anti-satellite missiles in, in, in the future. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that overt yeah. if you like so there could be cyber interference there could be electronic interference yes. and there already have yeah been say that, does that already exist that. right yeah. yes yes exactly so it's so it's not as clear or yeah in your face as one may think right right what accidental nudging i guess could be others right yes I mean, if you knock something at a different orbit that dramatically affects sometimes Right. It could disable your satellite, in fact. Yes, yes. And, and you get into dual use capability. So, for example, one way of space traffic management could be active debris management. Yes. So, so uh, uh, slowing down a piece of space debris, causing it to deorbit. That's right. And you might use a laser to do that. That's right. But you could also use a laser to, to disrupt the optic um, op the optics of a satellite. That's right. Or even point it at one end of a solar sail and cause the satellite to tumble. That's right. Uh, which is not that nice. And, and then I guess then here, is it an accident or is it an intentional, right? Then I guess you'd have to improve that again based on the law, whether it was an, an intentional act of aggression versus a kind of yes. a accidental act and that then affects your, so you saw in that kind of spectrum, it your does. responses. Yes, yes, and, and presuming you have the information. So the, so the application of law in these contexts is heavily reliant on the information. The information comes from um, space debris, uh, sp sorry, space domain awareness sensors, for yeah. example, uh, and, and not just the sensors, but a variety of, yep. of sources for space domain awareness. And so if you didn't register your satellite, as you saw earlier, that then I guess adds extra complexity whether you knocked it or not, I guess, right? Exactly. 